so many people use the word love. I love you. Do you really know what love means? Many people don't know what the word means because it is really overused and so silly. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 13. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. So let's start with verse 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity love, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. So no matter what I can do or what I can say, if I don't have love, I am just a bunch of loud noise, <laughs> which many people are. Verse 2, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, love, I am nothing. So no matter what ability that you have, no matter how good you can preach, no matter how good you can prophesy, so on and so on, if you cannot love, you are nothing. Okay. Verse 3. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. So even if you do good things for people, if you don't have love and show love, <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Verse 4. Charity, love, suffereth long, and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity, charity vaunteth not itself. It is not, I'm adding words. Charity vaunteth not itself, it's not puffed up. So what is it saying? Love is patient. Love is kind. Love has no envy. So if you have envy, <laughs> that is not love. There is no pride in love. So if you are jealous, envious, let me see, prideful, and if you say that you love in that way, you are lying. There is no love in those things. So that cuts out 80% of the people right there. Okay, where am I? Verse five, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. So when you love somebody, you are not going to act crazy. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Some people may say, well, the only reason I am acting like this because I love you. What? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. Seeketh not her own. So selfishness, there is no love in selfishness. It's not easily provoked. So you are not going to be easily provoked when you love someone. Thinketh no evil. So you are not going to think evil when you love someone. So <laughs> maybe in the whole world, maybe 10% of people actually have love. I'm serious. Verse six, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. So you are not going to rejoice in sin, but in truth. Love. 7. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. So when you love someone or when you have love, you are going to be patient. You are 
going to be able to take things. Like there are some people out there who are so sensitive. Like anything you say to them, oh, you hurt me, you hurt me, oh, you hurt me. How can you love a person when you hurt so easily? There's no love in that. Okay, where am I? Bear of all things. Believe with all things. I am not saying that you have to believe lies. That is not what it is talking about. You are going to have trust in that person or people. Like there are people who just doubt everyone. Even people they don't know. Like they have a bad view of everyone. Like, hey, I don't trust that person because, you know, if you trust people, things are going to go bad for you. People like that. I am not saying that you have to believe everything a person says. Like, even if they are lying to you, this is not saying that you have to believe in their lies. This is pretty much talking about being cynical or pessimistic I believe let me see where am I verse I believe did I go to seven believe all things believe all things hope in all things verse seven so let me read this other translation love patiently accepts all things bears all things or always protects always trust believe all things always hopes hopes all things and always endures endures all things so like i said before if a person is lying this is not saying that you have to believe their lie that is crazy but to the point where you just have no trust for anyone you believe the worst in everyone that is not love you really need help if you are that way I'm serious okay first eight I believe charity never faileth but so love never fails so if your love fails then it was not love because love never fails how can you love a person for a week, then the next week, you don't love that person? Makes no sense. That is not love. You tell this person that you love them all day long, and then <laughs> after that month or year or whatever, I don't love you no more. What? Get out of here. Okay. Where am I? I keep losing my spot. Jesus, where am I? Okay, yes, verse 8. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. So prophecies are going to fail. So many people call people false prophets. This is telling you prophecies are going to fail. So, does it mean that person is a false prophet when everything that this person say does not go in that same way? Think about it. So, charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. So, speaking in tongue will cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away makes sense right okay nine for we know in part and and we prophesy in part so this is saying that we don't know everything so this is saying the Bible does not have does not have all the information so if someone gets like a supernatural vision or revelation from God 
if it's not in the Bible, many people say that, hey, that's not true, that's not true, or you call this person like a false teacher or a false prophet and stuff like that, which we can see here, where am I? <laughs> in verse 9, it is saying that, for we know in part and we prophesy in part. So there is so much information that we don't have. Does that make any sense? So there is information that is not written in, in the Bible. But there are people who have this information, have some information that is not written in the Bible that we can learn from and take advantage of it. Think about it. If the Bible had all the information, how huge would the Bible be? Like, <laughs> so big, you know, like, <laughs> like gigantic, you know, like, <laughs> so huge. Okay. So stop calling people false prophets and false teachers and all this other stuff. Now, if they say that you can sin all day long and you will still go to heaven, okay, you know, but all right. Let's go to verse 10. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. So we are not going to know anything or everything until Jesus Christ comes back. Until then, no. So all of the prophecies, all of the teachings, everything that pertains to God that we know of, we don't know all of it, just a partial amount. I'm telling you. Okay. Verse 10, I believe. No, 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. Man. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. So as you grow up, you have to grow too. Verse 12, for now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part. But then shall I know even as also I am known. For now we see through a glass darkly, so we don't see everything. But then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall... I know even also I am known. 13. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, which is love. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. So the greatest is love, as you can see here. So let's go to the expanded Bible for verse 12. Right quick. Can you see it? Okay. Yes, you can. It is the same with us. Now we see a dim reflection as if we were looking into a mirror. But then we shall see clearly. Now I know only a part, but then I will know fully as God has known me. So as you can see here, so now we know what love is so don't go to everyone i love you i love you i love you and then the next month or year or whenever you fall out of love with a person this is saying love never fails let me see if i can find it again where am i love never fails Verse 8, charity, love, never faileth. So if your love fails, 
You never love that person. This is how extreme love is. So if your love is not extreme as this, you don't have love. You just like that person, not love. So stop using the word love. I'm serious. Makes no sense. So really take heed to this. God bless.